good morning everybody especially students who are coming from various background various institutes so welcome to the first introductory lecture on physical and electrochemical characterizations in chemical engineering so in the course of 10 week this course will be given to you and i hope uh, this course will help you at the end understand the physical chemical and electrochemical characterization especially in chemical engineering why am i specifying on chemical engineering because there are number of courses which are available on nptel platform which uh, are dealing with the characterization part so there may be some overlap with those courses but from the perspective of a chemical engineer this course will help us to understand various phenomena whether it is in nano scale micro scale or macro scale level to understands the molecular insights and to gain uh, structural information of various material so why characterization so as the name suggest the characterization is uh, important for any of the material which a chemical engineer is interested in so which is that material we will discuss in the subsequent modules in detail so the common thread with respect to all these materials is why we want to do it so the characterization as you know this is due to the morphological and the chemical analysis so these two aspects are very important morphological what do you mean the morphological implies that how the surface or the texture looks like on atomic scale how let's say if you consider a surface how the atoms are arranged and if the atoms are arranged what are the thickness of those atoms what type of atoms are present at the surface and what are the atoms present in the bulk and then the second part called the chemical analysis so what do you mean by that chemical analysis implies that you have several atoms you know these we have prepared but how much of each of them is there so into identify so our identification consider this chemical analysis part so essentially we will be taking care of both the morphological and the chemical analysis part so why we are using it for chemical engineers because we chemical engineering we are interested in industries which utilizes techniques to characterize such materials especially in oil and gas the chemical industries the electronic industries and the pharmaceutical industries so oil and gas we have several those of the precursor materials or the finished product where you need to characterize this material so as to confirm a certain standard so confirming the final product to a specific standard this is very important because nowadays these industries we have several standards like iso standards or whether we have to be very careful regarding the let's say pollution standards there is a forum that's environmental protection is the epa standards where a certain amount of pollutant you can emit from your industry so for this we required it to be conforming to specific standards so reverse engineering what does this means reverse engineering means you have prepared something you have a material at you with your hand so now you want to see whether you have obtained or not the conforming standards if not then you go back and do the characterization once more and then come back again if it satisfies the specific standards who should attend this course this is very important although the course is primarily designed for chemical engineers the knowledge will be actually helpful for all the undergraduates and postgraduates whether it is chemical engineering or material science or civil engineering or mechanical engineering basically these four branches will be very helpful for this course mainly our aim is to first to design a new product and once you design a new product you characterize it and then with those characterization you formulate a economical process so this is the way you do it so what is the course outline for this particular uh, course that is we have divided it into five modules the spectroscopic techniques this is a major spectroscopic techniques which will be carried out in this course it consists of six lectures we have planned these are all tentative number of lectures then the physical and chemical absorption methods the physical chemical absorption methods are the ones which will be used to obtain the surface phenomena then the rheological and interfacial measurements so rheological means as you know it is the ability of any material to flow so we will measure certain rheological property or the interfacial property between two liquids or a liquid and solid then the electron spectroscopy which is very important this electron spectroscopy gives us the morphological characterization 
So, from the point of perspective of a chemical engineer, now since the research has become more and more interdisciplinary, we have to see this surface. So, we chemical engineers are into these different aspects. So, this is very important. Then finally, the electrochemical. Now, chemical engineers are also related to the field of fuel cell or battery or capacitors and it requires electrochemical characterization. It means how stable they are when they are applied an electric field or that is how stable or what is the electrochemical window, the cyclic voltammetry. These are the concepts or the topics which will be carried out in the next class. On the next class, what we will do, we will give the outline of the material characteristics and uh, effectively I will describe all these modules and why material characterization is necessary. Thank you.